week two we're going to make the bud squares um, the small bud square only has one round of puff stitches and the larger bud square has two rounds of your puff stitches and we start with a simple ring in the middle which is covered with double crochets so to make your ring in the middle you need to take your blue and make four chain so put your slip stitch on again and make four chain so that's one two three and four put your hook into the first chain that you made so that's counting one two three four chain and insert your hook into it pull it through and through the other loop and then you've got your small circle ready to work your double crochets into it just work one chain and then insert your hook into the center of your ring pull through and make your double crochet and we need to make eight double crochets into the center of this ring so that's two three four five six seven and eight so you've now got your center made you want to just slip stitch into the first double crochet that you made pull through and fasten off and you've got your center ring ready to start putting your puff stitch round so I'm going to simply cut the yarn and finish off this colour and you've got your center circle complete next I'm going to take my colour that I'm going to use for the puff stitch join into any stitch by simply placing your hook through bring it through and work three chain and we're going to make a puff stitch so that's two chain and three chain you want to work three treble crochets into that same space where your chain was so that's one and two and then three now you need to just just pull your loop up so you've got room to bring your hook out and then insert your hook into the top of your third chain that you made at the beginning put your loop back on your hook and then pull that loop through the loop at the end and then one chain to lock your puff stitch so you've made your first puff stitch which includes your three chain at the beginning so we're going to do the next puff stitch which will be working four trebles all into the same space that's into your next stitch so we've got two three and four and then just make your loop a little bit bigger count back one two three four insert your hook into that stitch pop the loop back on that you were working with pull it through and then one chain to lock your puff stitch so you've got two puff stitches made continue to work around the circle until you've got eight puff stitches made I'll show you once again so it's four trebles into your next stitch that's three done and your fourth one take your hook out insert it four stitches back and then pick up your loop again pull it through and then one chain to lock so continue all the way around until you've got eight puff stitches 
So pause your video here and come back when you've got your eight puff stitches. So you've now completed your eight puff stitches for the first round. You need to slip stitch into the first stitch of the round to close it. That's the first round completed and if you're making the small puff stitch you'll break off your yarn here and then go on to your blue colour to do the border but I'm going to continue and show you how to do two puff stitches into the same space for the larger puff stitch. So first of all you want to slip stitch into the space between the next two puff stitches make three chain, work three trebles all into that same space, that's one, two, three, leave your loop so you can get your hook back into it, insert your hook into the third chain at the beginning of your puff stitch might be a little bit tricky if you've done it a bit tight there we go pick up your loop pull it through and then one chain to lock it so we're going to do a second puff stitch into that same space so you want to work your four trebles all into that same space That's three trebles and four. Take your hook out, insert it into the first treble at the beginning of that section, pop your loop back on, pull it through and one chain to lock. So you have two puff stitches going into one space there. I'll make another one into the next space. So it's four treble into the next space for the first puff stitch. So we have two trebles, three and four. Remove your hook, insert it into your first treble that you made, put your loop back on your hook, pull it through and your chain for locking it. Work one more puff stitch into that same space. So that's your four trebles. We've got one and two and three and now your fourth one. Take your hook out and place your hook into the first treble made pick your loop up, pull it through and a chain stitch to lock. So you now need to continue all the way around until you've got two puff stitches into each space which will give you 16 puff stitches all together and then you'll be ready to do your, your blue section. So come back, pause your video and come back when you've got all your puff stitches done. So you've got to the end of your row now with your double puff stitches into each space. Now simply slip stitch again into the first stitch of the round to close your round. And that's your second round finish. So now we'll cut the yarn and fasten off. So now you want to join your next colour, your blue yarn. So join into a space between two puff stitches by simply pulling your yarn through and you want to do four chain which will represent a double treble. Then you want to work a double treble into the same space. So you wrap your yarn round once and round twice, put it through the space, pull through loop, yarn round your hook, 
pull through two loops, round your hook again, pull through two loops and round again through the last two loops. Now work two chain and you're going to work another two double trebles into that same space. So round your hook twice into the same space, pull through, round your hook, pull through two loops and two loops and your last two loops. Work one more, so that's twice round your hook into the same space, pull through, two loops, pull through, another two loops and your last two loops. So that you've started to get your corner forming. So now the next part, you're going to work two trebles into the next space between the puff stitches. So it's one treble. two trebles and then work two trebles into your next space. This is making your side edges and two trebles into the next space. So you've now got your corner and you've got Three, three bunches of two trebles, which is your side edge, and you're now going to make your other corner. So it's two double trebles into the next space, pulling through your two loops. So it's yarn round your hook twice for this one, through the space, pull through, Pull through two loops, two loops and your last two loops. And then you want to do your two chain which will be chain space at the corner. Two double trebles again into that same space. The last one. And then you've got your second corner forming and you can see now how you're getting your edges to form. Continue along the other side so you want to work another three clusters of two trebles into your spaces for your side edges and then you'll do another corner. So that's one cluster two and then you want to work one more cluster of two trebles and now you're ready to make your third corner which is your double trebles again. I'll just show you that last corner and then you can continue round the other sides to complete it. Okay, I was going to do a treble then, I always just double check that you're doing your right stitches. Two chain and then you want two double trebles again into that stitch. Okay, so that's your third corner completed. So continue around the other two sides to complete this round and you'll see that your square is starting to form. Uh, pause your video and come back when you've completed those other two parts. So now we've uh, finished the, the first round of the blue which is making the square start to form. You can see it. You need to finish the round by slip stitching into the fourth chain to close the round and then start your next round with three chain one treble into your next stitch which brings you to the corner and then one treble 
two chain one treble into corner and then you want to work one treble in each stitch along the side edge until you get to the next corner this is nice and easy just keep doing your trebles into each stitch all the way along until you get to your next corner nearly there last stitch of the edge and then we want to do the corner again so that's one treble two chain and one treble again now continue across that side of the square as before until you get to your next corner work the corner again and continue around the square until you get to the beginning again and pause your video and we'll continue from there so that's your fifth row nearly completed all we need to do is slip stitch to finish in the third chain at the beginning three chain that we'd made and like I say sometimes they're a little bit tight to get into so just slip stitch and then we finished the fifth round and you can see the square is now nicely forming we've just got one more round to do which is in double crochets so you want to start with two chain and you want to do double crochets to the corner and on this row it'll be two double crochets you get to your corner you want to work one double crochet, two chain and one double crochet all into that chain space and then work along the side edge working into each stitch so that's one, two, three, continue all the way across to the next chain space at the corner working double crochet just one more stitch and we're at the corner again so one double crochet two chain one double crochet and then you're ready to go along your other edge continue along each side until you get to the beginning of your round again and slip stitch to close pause your video and come back when you've completed this round we've now completed motif one and the motif one you will make 14 using three different colours and for motif two you'll make five using botanical bloom and for motif three you'll make two and on this one we're adding one extra row just to make it slightly longer on one side just to make all the elements fit together when you're completing your blanket at the end. 